At which point mm. did I uh, decide to make it. YouTube my career? Um, there wasn't really, there wasn't really a moment where, you know, I felt like that it was just all of a sudden. It was just kind of like a slow, gradual growth, I think. Um, yeah, in terms of making it my career, though, I was in. I remember it was like in college, and I, um, it was in my first two years, and I just hated it, you know. So I decided I'm gonna drop out and do something I actually love doing. So. I mean, the one thing, I'm definitely not going to sing, I'll tell you that much, but <laughs> the one thing I do like doing is acting, and I would, I mean, I would like, that's one of the few things that I think I would enjoy doing if I actually took classes for it and stuff like that, but as of now, I don't really have time to take classes, so I'm going to just continue to do what I do, and um, hopefully in the future, I get to take some classes and become a real actor. If I become a real actor, um, I mean, my ultimate goal is not specifically, specifically his career, but to do the whole um, what's name Ben Stiller approach, where he gets to not only act in his own things, but he gets to direct it and write it, you know, or I guess like Seth Rogen. Um, yeah, like I, maybe not their style of comedy, but my own brand, being able to direct and you know help pretty much create YouTube, but in a larger medium. Mm, yeah, mainstream. Yeah. Okay, look forward to that. <laughs> you heard yourself doing the Foot Ninja video, I did. right? I thought it was fake until I saw the it's definitely middle part right, yeah. <laughs> where the blood came uh, out and stuff. What's yeah. the most dangerous thing you've done so far? Sadly, you know, the Fruit Ninja thing wasn't even that dangerous, I thought, at the time, because it, you know, I was just going to hold the sword, get hit by fruits, so I didn't think it was going to slam into my face. Um, probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done, and again, kids watching do not try this at home, is when I did Dear Ryan, uh, What Would You Do for a Klondike Bar, and uh, I did all these like random parkour things and made it over the top, and uh, I basically jumped from my second floor balcony onto a wall, and then jumped off that wall, but that jump from the second floor balcony to the wall was definitely the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Are you quickly the speed questions? What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I pee. Okay, what's your perfect first date? Perfect first date. Um, uh, wait, am I supposed to answer this faster? You can, yeah. I, I think we have time. Sorry. Perfect, uh, perfect first date. Um, hot pockets on the couch watching A Walk to Remember. Okay, guilty pleasure song. One song. Watching Walk to Remember soundtrack. Okay. <laughs> Choose between Andrew Garcia or Terrence. Oh, neither, for sure. <laughs> okay, do you have another alternative then? David Choi. David. Number one, okay. Ken. Hi, I'm Ryan Higa, and this is a shout out to SD Communities.